Hello everyone, this is Yifeng from Yifeng Ceramics. Today we are going to look at some Raku firing. Over the weekend, I joined a local pottery group and did Raku firing with them. I did the naked Raku and the horsehair Raku. In preparation for the Raku, I hand built a fish and I threw a vase. After cutting the fish shape from a slab, I decorated with cookie cutter shapes and then score and slip them together. Because the process of raku is very violent, so that's why my joints has to be very well done. I slip and score all the sides and then smoosh the sides together. I want the fish to be more poofy, so I blew air through this hole to make the fish more poofed up. After the fish is done, I threw a vase on the pottery wheel. I didn't use any special raku clay, I only used the regular clay that I have at home. After pulling it up, I need to shape the vase. Then I need to trim and smooth the bottom. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. After the vase become leather hard, I applied terra salata onto it. I applied red on the top and then green on the bottom. On the raku day, these are all the horsehair raku vases. As for my fish, I applied a drop off slip onto it on that day. After the fish has fired in the raku kiln, it is cooled rapidly with combustible material such as newspaper and sawdust. After 10 minutes, we need to take it out and then spray it with water. After the fish cooled off, I scrape off the slip I applied earlier and here's the final result. As for the vase, I need to pick up my horsehair and feather and get ready to, to apply it on the vase. When the vase comes out from the kiln, I only have a very short time to apply the feather and the horsehair. Here are all the horsehair vases. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope to see you next week.